Hey, what's up everybody? This is Meath24, and today I'm going to be doing a quick look at some of the Amiibo figures that I've collected. Uh, I currently have four, I do plan to get more of them, and this is by no means like a comprehensive review of everything they can do. Uh, just kind of a quick look at the figures themselves, and I will be doing a companion video that I'll upload around the same time as this one goes up, uh, taking a quick look at the contents of the Super Smash Bros. for Wii U bundle, the sort of limited edition that came out with the GameCube controller and all that. So uh, if you want to check that out, I'll put a little link in the annotations here, uh, as well as in the description of the video. These are the four Amiibos that I got. Uh, there are uh, a few other ones out right now, too. Um, and these weren't necessarily the ones that I was originally planning to get, they were sort of what I was able to get. Uh, the Wii Fit Trainer and Samus I pre-ordered when I pre-ordered the game, so those two I was guaranteed to get from the outset. Mario I knew would probably be an early one I'd get. Marth was kind of a, a oddball pick for me, uh, simply because I wanted to get, like, Fox or, uh, Link, but they didn't have either of them at the store when I went earlier today, so I just got a, uh, went ahead and got Marth, because I figured both him and the Wii Fit Trainer would probably be a little bit harder to come by as uh, we get a little bit further along. Obviously, they're going to keep producing more and more of Mario, and of Donkey Kong, and of Yoshi, uh, and probably even of, of Samus here, because one, they're more popular characters, and two, uh, they're the sort of characters that are going to have more frequent game releases, right? Like, Fire Emblem games are not released nearly as often as your Mario games, uh, as your Zelda games, uh, and the same goes for the Wii Fit stuff, so I figured they'd be a little bit easier to, to, to nab now instead of later, uh, but I do think this presents a nice variety in the different sort of amiibos that we have at the moment uh, for Smash Bros. So uh, you can see that I already pulled Samus and the Wii Fit Trainer out of the box, and uh, I tried my best to keep the boxes as intact as I could uh, when I was opening them. I did already uh, split the cardboard from the plastic on the Mario and Marth figures, but I figured I'd show kind of what they look like inside the box and outside here. So uh, I'm going to pull these two off to the side for a second just to give a good look at their uh, packaging. And there's different packaging for every single character. The same basic idea. Uh, you have obviously the figure's face up there, their name displayed in the back. Uh, on the back here we have the same gen general idea with each one. Uh, you know, showing how they level up to 50 in uh, Smash Bros. when you uh, scan them into your game. Uh, but the artwork on the back of them is a different color banner there, as well as the uh, character they're displaying, obviously. So there's Samus's. Uh, hers was a little bit more of a challenge to uh, cut open there. I kind of split the cardboard, but uh, oh well. They got a smash attack there with the, the arm cannon. For Mario, have some uh, you know, really nice red artwork here. <coughs> Him fighting the Animal Crossing villager. That's another one that I, I didn't see, actually, was the uh, Animal Crossing villager. I would have liked to have gotten that one if they had had it at uh, Target when I went earlier. But. And then we've got a really nice light blue here for Marth. And him fighting Link on the back there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these two out of the packaging. And... Uh, Really, there's not a whole lot to the packaging. It's just got the plastic in the back there and plastic on bottom. And I noticed uh, when I was pulling the other ones out of the packaging, there's a little sheet here on the bottom, which I assume is to prevent people from using the uh, little uh, reader in the bottom of each figure you know, before they've actually purchased it. Like, you can't just run to the store and start using those. Uh, because there will be uh, eventually an adapter for the 3DS to use the Amiibos in your 3DS copy of Smash Bros and probably uh, other games, I would imagine. So I guess that's a good foresight on the part of Nintendo. At any rate, here we have... I'm going to pull all the boxes out of the way, actually. Uh, take a look at Mario first. We have a really nice paint job on everything, I think. Uh, a little bit more dull paint job for his face and clothes than some of the other ones, but uh, I think that works just for the sake of you know him wearing overalls and, and a hat there. I really like the effect of the flame there on his hand. That's really cool. Uh, as for the base, it's kind of a dull gold, but um, I kind of figured as much would happen with these figures, and I'd rather it be this dull gold than a really crappy-looking yellow gold. Uh, Marth has a lot more color going on, obviously, and, and has sort of a shiny gold there on his uh, his robes. Got silver on the sword there, and the, the color differentiation there on the sword is, is pretty impressive. There's no real mess 
or anything. His eyes, I don't know how well you can see on the camera, they do look a little bit goofy, um, just because they're not as angular, I guess, as they are in the game. But with a face that small, I guess, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, shoulder armor looks really nice, gold apps there. Uh, even the sheath for the sword is, is really well done there with all the symbols on it. Uh, and then, of course, on the back of the cape, you have a Fire Emblem logo there. You'll have to excuse me on uh, not knowing what specifically from Fire Emblem that is, because I don't know that much about the Fire Emblem series as a whole. Uh, the Wii Fit Trainer has uh, sort of a similar color uh, application as as Mario, where it's more of a dull white there. Uh, got a little bit more of a, a shine to the black and blue on her pants and uh, shirt there, but... Um, for the most part, more of a, a dull paint job, which I think works for the character. That's kind of how it looks in-game. The only thing that uh, some people might not be a huge fan of is this little clear piece that's holding her leg in place. doesn't look bad from this side. Uh, from the other side, though, it you know kind of blurs the whole leg there. So um, I know some people have found ways to modify these uh, already, even though they just came out. But it's not something that I'm hugely upset about. The ones that I'm not as big on are the ones that are sort of a gold yellow uh, for the holding piece. Uh, it, I'd rather it just be clear and I won't notice it nearly as much. And then finally, uh, my favorite of the bunch is, of course, Samus. I love the shine on the uh, the red, the gold, and the green there. Uh, the, the pose, I think, is, is very simple, but it, it works. And that's a th nice thing with all these characters. You have like a bunch of different poses that you can uh, kind of line them up on your shelf with there. Uh, and, and the different dimensions of each, I think, represent well how they look in-game. Uh, but yeah, just a really nice amount of detail on everything, uh, with all the little black divots here and there on the suit, uh, the green on the visor, the little pipes running along the face there. Just really well done uh, overall. So, um, obviously you can use these in Smash Bros. to uh, compete as sort of AI opponents. You can use a few of them in Mario Kart to unlock some new... Uh, racer suits for your Mii racers. Uh, I know there's uh, a few uses that you can get out of them in Hyrule Warriors. I believe that each of the Smash Bros. ones, to my knowledge, is able to be used in Hyrule Warriors to unlock new weapons or rupee bonuses or whatever, which is pretty cool that they have so many different uses already. I know some of the ones that uh, were listed on the Mario Kart track suits uh, there were, were or, sorry, racer suits are not actually released yet. Like, I think Meta Knight was one of them. Captain Falcon was one of them. Uh, so those characters are not out yet. They will be part of the second wave, if I remember correctly. Maybe Meta Knight's part of the third wave. I don't, I don't remember exactly. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to, uh, to collecting more of these. I'm going to probably get as many as I can. Uh, there's a lot of them coming later that I'm even more excited about, like Sheik and Ike. Those are two of the characters that I play with quite a bit in Smash Bros., so, obviously, I'll, I'll pick those up. That was the main reason I got Samus, was because I play as Samus uh, as one of my mains in Smash Bros. And then, of course, Mario, I think, is a, is a safe you know, pick for pretty much anybody, because a lot of people do use Mario, even if it's not their, their main. Like, I'm still halfway decent with them in Smash Bros. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much just it for these, uh, these little amiibo figures. i get one more quick little zoom-in shot of them there. Uh, but, yeah, I'm really impressed with the fact that these... Uh, Figures have such great paint apps for how small they are and how relatively inexpensive they are, I'm sure, to produce. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what more we can do with these. I wouldn't be surprised if they do some variant ones in the future to make uh, amiibo figures of the uh, alternate trophies from the, the All-Star mode or whatever. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, and with that, I will see you guys next time.